Witam serdecznie w pierwszym odcinku z przygodówki Ghost in the Sheet. E, troszkę sobie tutaj muzykę przyciszymy. I zaczniemy nową grę. Jest to przygodówka. Dość ciekawa przygodówka. Stara, ale warta uwagi. Everything happened too fast somehow. One moment I was crossing the street and only a couple of seconds later I sort of sensed a double crack as a truck passed over my body. My whole life appeared as a shortcut in my head. Memories passing memories. I emerged here in the tunnel and awaited what would come next. I knew there was no way back and wondered what lay in store for me. Would it be hell, purgatory or heaven? I'd expect anything but to look like that. It wouldn't have occurred to me even in my worst nightmares. And then they came for me. What have you done to me? What do I look like? And why am I wrapped up in this sheet? First, let's clarify our position, shall we? I am your boss. And therefore, you're going to call me sir. Second, I'm the one who's talking here. Third, Welcome to your new form as an ordinary, and I'm stressing the word ordinary, member of our ghost-catching organization. And if you don't want us to take the sheet away from you, you'll fulfill my orders without any discussion. I was going to ask you for that. I don't consider the sheet joke very funny. So sheet joke, you say? Sheet joke? Do you know what happens when I take the sheet away? You'll cease to hold together, and the wind will blow you apart in all directions. You'll become a very scattered personality. Is that clear to you? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's have a briefing now. Since you don't know and don't need to know any details, I'll make it short. We've recently realized that someone or something is interfering with our ghost-catching organization. Mortals are dying, but their souls never reach the tunnel. Unfortunately, my best ghosts are already busy elsewhere, but this looks like a good task for a greenhorn such as you. My intelligence reports to me that the latest events are related to a certain abandoned factory. What you see here is the entrance to the premises which is exactly the place we're going to send you to find out what happened there. By the way, while there, you'll probably figure out who was the one so neatly driving you over. There wasn't much left of you. As a ghost, you'll probably be able to make use of diverse skills. You wouldn't get very far in your astral body. You'll be learning them as your experience grows. For the start, I'll give you telekinesis. So you won't lose time by fooling around too long. How it works, you can figure out for yourself. This isn't a kindergarten. Everything clear? Yes, sir. And don't forget, you can take off your sheet. Your story is over. That's it. The door is over there. Miła odprawa. So, I've been given my first mission. I didn't have time to look around and already someone is bossing me. Again. And moreover, in such a dishonorable condition that I'll be better off checking that factory thing so I don't have to think about the absurdity of my existence. Ghost in the sheet. The passage through the pan-dimensional portal is a really interesting experience. It's a pity I didn't have anything like that while still alive. On the other hand, I'd rather choose a different destination. Okay. I see that my boss fulfilled his promises. Such generosity. He could have kept it to himself, along with his great factory. Oh, Aha, okay. let's remember how my boss taught me to survive in the afterlife. By moving the mouse on the afterlife screen, I search for something which attracts my attention. If so, my cursor shape changed, and in the bottom part of the screen a caption appeared, indicating what I'm looking at. Uh -huh. Like now, for example, the fence caught my attention. There's also another cursor which indicates that I can leave via that exit. It's supposed to look like this. That's it. 
If the left mouse button is clicked on something that's attracted my attention, I'll examine it or go that way depending on the type of attraction indicated by the cursor. To be able to exist in the afterlife, I have to use the paranormal skills which I can find here. After the activation of any of these skills, my scary cursor changes and I can use it on anything that's attracted my attention. To discard that skill, I can use the right mouse button. To make the paranormal skill selection faster, I can speed up the process by using the function keys F1, F2, F3, etc. corresponding to the skills order from the top to the bottom. Right now I can only use F1 because I'm only able to use one skill. Well, I think that could be all. Or actually maybe not. I can access the game menu by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Here I can save my game in the afterlife camps. I can always return to the camp game. And mainly, I'm never supposed to put away my sheet. So good luck. And goodbye. No, dobrze, zobaczmy co tutaj jest. Locked. And how am I supposed to get inside? It's a real pity that that walking through walls is utter nonsense. First of all, the cover will never make it through, and when I take it off, the wind will blow me all around. Uh. A rusty iron bar. I'd like to <laughs> smack my boss over the head with it. Locked. I ty się dziwisz, że nie trafiłeś do nieba, nie? Looks like cable car cables. I really don't want to know where they lead to, and the worst thing is this creep. No, dobrze, czyli tak. Mamy telekinezę. Coś możemy zrobić z telekinezą? Podnieść pręt? U! I wyważyć? Impossible. A tu? Even if I think as hard as I can, I have the clue how to use it. Odłóż. I really don't want to drag this. I really don't. Dobra. To a możemy gdzieś przejść? Czy to jest jedna plansza? A nie możesz ich po prostu otworzyć tyle kinetycznie? I'll try to take it off the hinges. No way. Ale z zawiasami? Tu? Impossible. The doors. This should give me no. Done. Co zrobiliśmy? Aha, tu są jeszcze drzwi do piwnicy. Dobra, jesteśmy. What are they about? Whatever. I can't. Jak nie możesz? Możesz przekręcić. Tu ci naciskam. I really don't want. Nie chcesz. Dobrze. I think that someone quite quickly. If I tried hard, I could maybe fold myself inside. I could definitely get this stupid sheet of my. The state of the electrical wiring is obviously poor. When alive, I would have never touched it. No, dobrze. Great idea. I can let the box bounce. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Not that it was. Not that it. No, dobrze. To idziemy dalej. Trzy. Oh. Strange. That brig is glowing even when I don't have it under control. Looks like there's some other sinister forces in action here. Gdyby ją podnieść? Oops. Nice. Co zrobiliśmy? Pamiętnik. Otwórz. Ojeju. Boże, ile tu jest stron? Nie, nie będę tego wszystkiego czytać. Zrobimy pauzy. Moment. Alisa zeszła w ciąży. To tam nie traciłeś czasu, człowieku. To niepokojące. Everything is falling apart. I hope that the next time a piece of ceiling falls on my head, it won't tear my beautiful sheet apart. No. 
This was once a cozy office belonging to the cable car operators. Maybe it would be a nice place to have a little haunt. Dobra, tu się wychodzi, tu się wchodzi. Ej, mamy, nie możemy klikać. So many buttons nowadays. Przyciski i dźwignia. The first good thing today. I'm not the only one chewing on pencils. Um, I wasn't the only one. I can't get used to that. No dobrze, spróbujemy ołówkiem. Co nam to da? It doesn't work. Whoops. Aha. Wiesz co, do tego chyba musi być jakaś instrukcja. Rozejrzyjmy się. O. Te w dół. Wciśnięte wszystkie. Wszystkie w dół, a to co to jest? I PPS 224 E220. Czy to jest L? According to the manual, all buttons must be pressed and all lights must be on. Dobrze, proszę pana. This was once a cozy office belonging to the cable car operator. Już patrzyliśmy. Nie wiem, chyba musimy włączyć. Gdzieś coś przełączyłam, pewnie jakąś. Jakieś bezpieczniki czy coś takiego, no tu jest niby prąd. Death to lady. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, it continues below. Death to ladybirds. Hmm. O, tu są bezpieczniki. Not that it would strain my muscles. Bo nie masz... I really don't know. Not that it was. To mnie nie denerwuj, chłopie. Great. I... Not that it was. O, jest włącznik. It looks like a fuse switch. A, zabiję go zaraz. On już nie żyje, dobra. That's it. Yes. I teraz będziemy mogli pewnie tutaj coś zrobić. Taką mam nadzieję. No. O. Halo. Dobra, świecą się. Gorzej z tym. One muszą wszystkie być ściśnięte, nie? Hmm, się nakombinuje. O. Dobra. Może się tak sfiltrujemy stąd, co? Halo. Ona chyba będzie odjeżdżać. Mogę tu wsiąść? Looking from up here, I'm not surprised that Hansen jumped off the cable. It would be interesting to see how I'd be able to glide down on the sheet. But I'm not going to try that since I haven't a clue how to get back up.
Okay, this What's going on? Aha! I feel that after manipulating that caboodle in the cable car station, I've learned a new skill. I can push something now. Very useful for buttons and doors. Hmm, I wouldn't cook a soup in this pot. On the other hand, what could possibly happen? Empty and do Hmm, report about the fire. June 20th, 2006, a strong fire broke out in the factory. During the fire, a part of the fusion unit in Hall B Where have I seen the employee's number code? No to ja muszę, bym musiała sobie zobaczyć. Ja słyszę warczenie. This pile of junk can't have been here long. It seems that someone tried to block the bottom part of the case in a big hurry. No właśnie, ja to słyszę dziwne odgłosy. Hear some strange sounds coming from there. The notice board is almost empty, with the exception of the obviously quickly handwritten notice in no case open. Hmm, who shouldn't open what? Then there is an announcement. Um. Wooden door. Push up on the door. And how? I can push it hard as I like. I really can't. No, I do it hard, but I'm just not into it. If I had more time, it's stuck. I have. If I had more time. Hmm. First, the pot already had plenty of holes inside, but now the acids just made another one. Judging by the sound emitted by the green liquid. O, możemy kratę przepalić kwasem, ale... Śmieci... Muszę to ją podjaśnić chyba ekran, bo nic nie widzę. Są jakieś śmieci... O! A, widzisz... Teraz poniesiemy to, nalejemy kwas. A widzisz, no. That's it. I have to wait till it fills the pot. Co my sobie zrobimy? Na kratę? I seriously doubt that the massive metal bar could be handled by this acid. In that... No to co możemy zrobić? I'll try to melt down the junk. O. wyskoczyło i polaliśmy to kwasem? Jedno stworzenie. Jakoś... Jakiś, jakoś to skomentujesz? I can't see anything. No... Co tam... No chance. I can't squeeze through the bars. Wiesz co, chyba troszkę, troszkę narzekasz. To co teraz? Teraz trzeba... Pamiętnika skorzystać. Ok, udało się. Powrót. Możemy przejść dalej. No. Bloodstains. It looks like something was dragged across the floor here. Papier. Oh, yeah, you. No, it's znowu trzeba sobie zrobić. To jest teraz przygodówka. Tu nie ma notatek. Nie ma pomocy. Trzeba sobie rysować i na szczęście teraz mamy telefony, dzięki którym możemy zrobić zdjęcia. 
ale kiedyś... Nie było tak łatwo, trzeba sobie rysować. The central factory gas pipes come. They should have put the stop bleeding sign here instead. Ale ty dowciapnę? I really do wonder why this card is here. No Dear Ellen, it's really bad, but I'll probably be out of here before anyone realizes what this is all about. I can't morally or otherwise cope with that. Hmm, what do we have here? Sector Omega Annual Report. That means that someone important must have run through here. Are those his blood stains? Going through these papers, Sector Omega is full. What's up, Hello? Hello? Is anybody up there? Hello? Hello? Whoever you are, please help me. I'm down here. So the factory isn't as deserted as it seems. Dobra. On cię usłyszał? Ciebie ducha? Jesteś pewien, że to jest dobry pomysł? Is there anybody down there? Finally, someone. Please help me. I'm stuck down here. Podaj mu prześcieradło. O! Who are you? In my position, I don't think this is actually the best place for lengthy introductions. But my name is Jacques Dirac, the porter of what remained of Section Omega. And who might you be? I am po- Well, actually, I'm Ghost in the Sheet. That's just great. I've been stuck in this hole for two days. And the very first living being I encountered is some juvenile idiot. In my situation, do you think I consider such jokes funny? Hmm, alive is a very fragile term, but anyway, probably not. What happened here? I haven't a clue. I came back after my month's vacation and found the front entrance wide open. I almost had a heart attack. The main duty of every good porter is to guard the entrance to their building with their life. Nonetheless, I entered the building to rightfully tell off the colleague who was on duty. But then I saw it. What did you see? The whole factory looked a mess. All the doors were open, and mainly, not a single key was in its place. I can imagine the horror you experienced. Such a disaster. <laughs> exactly. But that's still not the worst thing. Let me guess, the broom was misplaced? Something much, much worse. Sector Omega is haunted. Really? You mean by something other than ghosts and sheets? Okay, okay. If you're not interested and only want to make fun of me, I won't tell you a single word. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just can't control myself. Please do continue, I really am interested. Okay. But one more mention of ghosts in the sheet, and I won't say another word. I was walking down the silent corridors when I heard some very strange squelching sounds coming from behind me. I turned around and almost froze to death. Something was standing there, chewing on a human bone. I don't want to think about it anymore. I just lost my head and started running, and then I fell into this very hole. Luckily, I got stuck inside. If I'd fallen to the bottom, I'd have been a goner for sure. What did you? The whole factory looked a mess. I can imagine. Exactly. Let me something much. Okay, okay. I'm so okay. I was some. Wasn't it just? Excuse me. For my whole life, I've been guarding this section, and nothing has ever escaped my attention. I find your doubt in my eyesight very offensive. I am sorry. Nie muszę to powiedzieć. It's certainly interesting, but not that interesting. Are you all? Did anything happen to me? Anything? Apart from the fact that I fell into this hole where I've been stuck for two days without food or water? Apart from that, actually, no. Nothing happened to me at all. Well, you know, there are some bloody stains right next to the hole, which looked as if they lead inside it. They can't be from me. True. Anyway, those look more like something was dragging a bloody body on the ground and then dropped it down below. Don't worry. If the hole is as deep as you think, whatever is in there lies deep below. What's the? Who are you that you question me? 
I'm a special agent sent to investigate what's going on in here. If you're such a special agent, you of course have all the information long before you arrived here. Well, actually, I'm a bit short on info from their side. Nonsense. This is reality, and not Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I'm here by accident. Well, there's no reason to tell you anything then. You know, NDAs and such. Dobra. I am Ghost in the Sheet. Enough! <laughs> Podwoni samobójstwo. If you want, I'll pull you up. Yes, please. I've been waiting here for that for two days already. Trust me, I was so relieved when I heard someone coming. You're almost up. Ghost in the sheet? No. Calm down and don't twit. Ah! Oops. Hello? Are you alive? Dirac? I zabiłeś faceta. Welcome aboard, amigo. <laughs> um. I've probably killed him. Anyway, this factory probably doesn't have a port anymore. Um, dosyć pewnie pesymistyczny akcent. Aha, możemy iść w dół i do hali A. Będziemy na dół, zobaczymy. Może, może jednak, jednak tu, w tej strony. O. Although I'm really curious about what's inside those crates, they are so well sealed I really can't find out. Metal bucket. Now bring on the cleaning crew, and the factory will be as clean as my afterlife bank account. To jest świetny humor w tej grze. Czarny humor, ale świetny, lubię taki. Otwórz mi. Ha. Some useless security codes are written on the papers. Nothing interesting. An empty cardboard box with the letter CBE. A może się podnieść? I really don't know. No to jak nie, to nie. To możemy wejść. To możemy wejść. O matko. The door is locked. A, tu nie możemy, bo zamknięte. Dobra. Tu jest hall. Sama... No. All writing about ladybirds. I wonder who found it so interesting that they'd make the effort to climb up there. No, to świadczy jakiś taki trochę desperacji, trochę błędzie. O, poczekalnia i przebieralnia. Nie wyjścia. Broken and jammed. Przeblokowane. Halo? A lot of things must have happened in. To mi się tak wydaje. Metal. Ah, but she's not this one. Dobrze. There's a giant black dot. If by any chance anything legible was. Dobra, dalej do przebierania. Okay. Hello. For heaven's sake, fire! That was the last thing I was missing here. The fire in the factory. I think the shady. Calm down, boy. Let an old fireman have his afterlife pipe. Who are you, and what are you doing stuck in the locker? I am Scott Piper, the totally retired fireman, and I happened to appear in the locker somehow. And who are you, boy? I am Ghost in the Sheet. My pleasure. And what brings you to Omega? I am looking for the reason for Omega's current state. Creditable work. Tell me more about yourself. Well, my boy, there's nothing that interesting about old me. Once a fireman, always a fireman, they say. And now, since my candle went out, I sit here in the locker and smoke my most favorite pipe. To be honest, I thought the afterlife would be a bit different. But it could be worse, too. What happened to you that you ended up like this? I don't know either. One moment I was walking down the corridor, and the next I found myself stuck in this locker. So I figured out that I was probably dead. On the other hand, I... 
I'm not sure that this locker was your final destination. Well, at least I have my pipe with me in here. Tell me about Sector Omega. Sector Omega? That was a big enigma for us all, my boy. But we didn't care. There was plenty of work, so there was no time to think about what we actually do. Isn't it funny? Only here in the locker I... A little bit, yes. What can you tell me about... Hansen? Well, my boy, Hansen and I were the best of friends for many years. Ha <laughs> ha, we experienced... How so? Imagine that. He started to suspect that Omega's just a cover for some terrible conspiracy and other paranoid delusions. Moreover... And did you meet him a lot before he died? Not much. When Hansen found out I wasn't interested in his tales, he found a new victim. That youngster, Niels. Well, looking around me, I'd be more inclined to trust Hansen. We shall see what Omega really hides. Dirac. Jacques? He's a very nice boy. We had a lot of fun together. When he wasn't working, that is. Niels. I didn't know Niels much. He spent a lot of time with Hansen and Larissa. Rumors go that he even... Kurt. Strange fellow. I hardly ever really met him. But he was omnipresent in his room. Larissa. He won't speak about Larissa, my boy. I made a faux pas and I haven't been able to see her face. That won't actually be a problem in your case, unless someone lets you out of the locker. No way. I have my pipe here. That's enough for me. Uh. I found out about the... That's true. And to tell you the truth, my boy, that was too much for me. I'm no youngster anymore. But I'll tell you something. I have the feeling that the fire was started by someone to divert our attention. What makes... Everyone was running to Hall B to extinguish the fire. It was really hard work, but eventually we succeeded. But now listen to this. I returned to the dressing room to change my clothes. That's definitely weird. A thief, maybe. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody gets past Jacques. Why not? Because when you sign the Omega contract, they give you a locker. And since I've been here, and that's quite some time, None of those open. So it looks like a random thief. Well, the strangest thing is that only those lockers which were never used were opened. Not a single one of the. Hmm. Mm. Catch you later. Day. Come back to please an old fireman with a good chat, my boy. Świetnie. Mam strażaka, który schował się w szafce. Metal. Mm. One thing is certain. Sector. A flyer for the Church of the Holy Coip will be Slayer. People are so creative nowadays. The lockers and the... Zakaz palania od taki dymek, nie? No to co? To wychodzi na to... O! The locker seems to have been brought in here from the dressing. To wygląda ci szafka, moja droga. At least one bucket is finally... No to cóż, dzień dobry. Who's there? Ghost in the sheet. Ha ha ha. That's ridiculous. Why does everyone have a problem accepting me as a ghost in the sheet? Looking around, I have the <laughs> feeling of the most ordinary <laughs> thing. Really? The most ordinary thing? A man entering a shower where a woman is showering who doesn't want to leave and tells her that he's a ghost in a sheet? For example, the idea of looking at me hasn't crossed your mind? No, whenever I take a shower, I keep my eyes closed. And I presume you're not making any exceptions because of me? Clever boy. Even if I ask nicely? No! Nie bo się wystraszy i znowu cię, znowu ktoś zginie. Czasami ona chyba już nie żyje. Even if we whistle that melody of yours together? Only through my dead body. I have the feeling, um. observing your present condition, that that won't be a big problem. Did you say something? No. Even if I took the sheet off and died... Maybe you could stop bothering me in the shower.
What's that tune you're whistling? I don't know. It just kind of goes with this place. Pobrecito. Marisa, you're just a shadow. Nonsense. But to be honest, I was baffled by that as well. I woke up in the shower and I was so dirty, almost black. So I immediately began to shower. I'm telling you that I was extremely lucky to wake up in here. It would have been such a shame walking through the factory so dirty. Now I can shower until all the dirt is safely washed away. How long have you been taking a shower already? When I think about that, I don't actually know. But it must already be a couple of days. And the fact that you've been taking a shower for a couple of days doesn't seem strange to you. Until everything is washed off, I'm stuck here. What would others think about me? See you later. Couldn't you have left already? I'm not convinced of an empty cardboard box. I really do. No to nie przeszkadza im Larysie, nie się kąpie. Czyli mamy tutaj trochę ludzi, znaczy ludzi, duchów. O! Dzień dobry. So it's you? Look what's happened to me because of you. If I had my body back, I would tear your sheet apart. Calm down. Calm down? Calm down? First you dress in the sheet, make fun of me, and then kill me. Enough. All the time I was telling you that I am the ghost in the sheet. You never believed me. How can you say that, juvenile idiot? Despite that, I helped you, pulled you out, and then you saw me. Huh. <laughs> Come on, be a man. You could have actually encountered a slow and painful death. I even helped you. <laughs> and did it occur to you that someone could save me instead? I tried. I saw and felt your attempts. But it was you who fell down. Huh. Zafuka cię na śmierć. Dobrze, ale dalszą rozgrywkę, dalszą dyskusję z naszym wkurzonym żakiem to odbędziemy w następnym odcinku. To będzie tyle na dziś. Mam nadzieję, że się gra podoba, mimo że jest stara, ale ma mega klimat i chyba ciekawą fabułę. Tak więc do usłyszenia w kolejnym odcinku. Dziękuję za uwagę. Pa, pa!